What's up, guys? Rob D at Boiling Point LLC on Twitter, official Litecoin Lotto on YouTube. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I am going to quickly go over Litecoin. I haven't made a video in a while. I've actually been off of Twitter for a couple weeks now. I've been doing some uh, mental, uh, mental preparation, a little bit of break, you know, a little bit of a break. So um, I started a new diet. I have lost almost 20 pounds in the past week and a half. I wasn't really super, super heavy to begin with, but I was, uh, I was at 199, nearing that 200 mark, which I was a little worried about. Didn't want that to happen. So I have dropped down to about 182 right now so far. So I'm excited about that. It's uh, my, my February has been going pretty, pretty good so far. I'm enjoying my break, but I am bringing you guys a video for Litecoin because I have not done so lately. So real quick, um, I've been tracking this since the beginning of December. I really feel that we are getting very close to the end of the bear market for Litecoin. So let's jump right into this and I will show you what I have been watching. So in 2014, we ran sideways into this. We were in this channel for a while. Uh, same thing right around here. In 2018, at the end of 2018, we capitulated down to our first our, our first series of lows on price like we did here and we had some slow um, slow accumulation and price increase over the next several weeks which we basically have the same thing here our red vertical lines are our having dates our green vertical lines were our are our lows end of the bear market price lows so uh, we had about 637 days from having to all time high. We had 609 this time, and this is 140 days prior to having the green line, which is going to be the first week of April, April 1st. All right, so we have a few weeks. I really think we're going to be next week. I, you know, next week I could see us going up a little bit possibly touching uh, this red line here at 37, maybe somewhere around there. Um, or we could just start heading down towards the final bottom. I really think we're heading towards that 17 and a half to 19, 20 dollar range to create one more low on price. but it's looking really good so far. Um, this candle was pushed up extremely. All right, it came with high volume. Um, we got we got out of that market right around that date, and I really feel that this is going to be the same thing. So if we have that lower low somewhere around seventeen fifty to twenty dollars, I'm going to probably start buying in around twenty. Once we get to that twenty twenty one range, I'm going to probably start laddering down. Uh, there's not much of a difference between twenty one and seventeen dollars. It's not like we're talking about buying at 38 and then, you know, potentially buying at 18. You know, there's a big difference there. So 21 to 17 is going to be my ladder range. This is not financial advice, but this is what I'm going to be doing. And I could see us touching down there and then hooking back up uh, just before having... We're going to probably touch that old base, which was a, a very strong support over 2018. Um, we hit we hit 100, we hit 105, we hit 114, all in that time frame. And uh, that, that was a pretty strong support. However, it, it will be a incredible resistance now. So I could see us dropping down to that range that I talked about, $17.50 to $20, spiking back up prior to having somewhere in that you know, hundred dollar range, hundred and five dollar range, somewhere around there, before um, finally coming back down, back into this previous channel that we were in over here, and accumulating for the rest for the rest of the year. I don't think we will see a huge price increase this year. I think this is going to be a long year of accumulation, which I'm okay with, because uh, we could be accumulating somewhere in that fifty dollar range. 
But if you notice back in 2015, that exact halving week was the bottom for that range. So if you can see where the halving is, halving pretty much bottomed out about $2.40. And that was the absolute bottom for, um, that was a retest of our old spike up from here. So something like that would look something like this. All right, guys. So if we break up back into that $100, $105 range and come back down, we could retest the top of this, which is about 42 bucks before, um, you know, right at having maybe a week or two, you know, give or take. But uh, if this pattern plays out, you'll see $17.50 to $20 range, a spike up to about $100, $105, a retest down at about $42, and then final accumulation in this range of, you know, $47 to $68, $70, bucks, somewhere around there. All right, guys, so that's what I'm seeing. I'm waiting on that because, because of the RSI. All right, I'm waiting for that hidden bullish divergence. We have, we're starting to create plenty of space now. All right, so as you can see, that first low on price created the bottom, the oversold condition. It came back up, moved sideways a little bit before our final wick down to end the bear market, but we created a higher low on RSI, creating uh, hidden bear, hidden bullish divergence. And there's plenty of space to do that now. I think the same thing is going to occur. And uh, I'm pretty excited because I really feel that we're inching close to the end of the bear market. All right, guys, this is my bearish, I guess, if you will, outtake. I don't really see a, a bullish scenario right now. A lot of people are saying that that was the total, you know, that was the bottom right there. I really feel that we have one more touchdown lower. Because if you, like I said, if you look at this candle, that was a very, very long wick on the bottom. So that was, that was a nice, that was a nice bottom candle. All right. These candles, they have, you know, decent wicks on the bottom, but they're nothing, nothing to write home about. You know, there's nothing special. It wasn't a lot of bullish pressure pushing that price back up when it bottomed. So that's what I'm going for. My targets are $17.50 to $20 for the bottom. My target for the top is somewhere between 100 and 105 before having, and I see heavy accumulation in the 48, you know, 47 to 68 range, somewhere in there for the rest of the year. So hopefully this is, uh, you know, hopefully this is good information for you guys. I hope I left it quick enough. I will continue my break. Maybe I'll bring you guys another video uh, in a week or two. I try not to do them, you know, too often because when you're looking at the weekly chart, there really isn't much to look at daily or even weekly. You know, it takes a while for these patterns to play out. Like I said, I've been following this since the first week of December. That's, uh, you know, right about two months now. And I've only made about three videos in that time, three or four videos. So there's not much to really report. Um, things are kind of dead in crypto world right now. They're, you know, moving slow, moving sideways. So, uh, you know, this is what I'm seeing. I hope I can help you guys out a little bit. This is not financial advice again. And again, if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, official Litecoin Lotto. And if you're not following me on Twitter yet, head over to Twitter and follow me at Boiling Point LLC. I will catch you guys later. Peace.